Hi, this is Andre from Sketch Engine, and this time I will show you how to use within and containing to find sentences, paragraphs, documents, or other structures which contain a word or phrase. Let's start with containing. Containing is used to find all structures which contain something. In this case, A sentence containing a sequence of an indefinite article, noun, and of. The whole sentence is the result. Switch to the sentence view if needed. And this will find all documents which contain the word contract or agreement or proposal. Only the first hundred tokens of each document will be shown as the result. If your corpus contains metadata, you can use them with the structure. This will look for words contract, agreement or proposal but only in documents downloaded from the European domain. Be careful about where you place the slash. Use the corpus information page to find out about available structures attributes and their values. Within is similar to containing. It will find a word, phrase or lexical or grammatical structure inside a sentence or document. It is especially useful with queries which contain unspecific tokens. This CQL query will find a noun followed by a verb with one, two or three tokens in between. Sometimes the noun can be in one sentence and the verb is in another. This is usually not desirable. Adding within sentence will ensure that the whole grammatical structure appears inside the same sentence. Both containing and within work not only with sentences or paragraphs, but also with lexical or grammatical structures defined by another CQL code. For example, to find sequences of three adjectives, but only those which contain the word international use this CQL. Both containing and within will find the same result.
the difference lies in what is highlighted as quick. The part on the left is highlighted as quick. Use the links in the description for more information about these and other CQL functions. To try Sketch Engine, register for a free trial on SketchEngine.eu. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Use the comments for any questions you might have.